The second product we're going to look at as a biopesticide is azaradictin, which is quite a mouthful, but it is a very good and effective product, especially against thrips. Uh, but it will also work against any other cell-eating or um, uh, sap-sucking insect. So, but thrips are particularly good. You know, thrips um, transmit a lot of viruses and pests, especially of flowers. Think about the western flower thrip, the onion flip, thrip in uh, winter is a particularly um, persistent problem on uh, allium crops. So, as a redictin, it's, a, it's an extract of the neem plant, or the, sorry, the neem tree that, that grows in the Indian subcontinent. It's in the mahogany family. It's been used for centuries for pest and disease control, both in agriculture and in um, household use. So it's, it's got that history of safe use. It's biodegradable. It's got very low mammalian toxicity from uh, lab studies, and um, it's highly effective. So um, this means that it can be used in, this is the reason why it can be used in organic farming, and because it's got primarily an anti-feedant mode of action rather than a biocidal activity. It's not, the chemicals aren't directly biocidal. That it will break down the, the uh, exoskeleton of the insect, so it will have an impact straight away. But then, when you've sprayed that crop, you'll get days or even weeks of um, activity on that leaf as long as it doesn't get washed off, where it will prevent the insects from feeding. So, um, we produce a product that's an emulsion, a sprayable emulsion concentrate, um, as you can see here. And it's um, a really good product. It's, it does have a, a mild odor of garlic, um, but um, that's probably um, a good thing, you know, that you've got uh, really good high quality as a in that case. Um, so yeah, definitely something we, should, we think all conventional farmers should look at.